Here is our GeoGebra solution to example one, except that now we've added sliders for the total cost allowed and for the total floor space available. And what we're going to do is move these sliders to make a new but similar problem for our students to practice on or for an exam question. In the second MathCast on this page, we will explain how to make these sliders. But right now we're just going to explore with these sliders. The sliders have two good points. One, you can see whether the problem is valid at all. And number two, if you're working with something like in this problem, it needed the number of filing cabinets, you have to make sure that at minimum the answer is on a grid point. So here the answer was 8, 3. So we have eight filing cabinets of type A and three filing cabinets of type B. It's also good if the other intersection points are grid points. Okay, so let's move our slider sliders here. And let's see what happens. If we move it down to 100, 120, we're losing our problem here. We don't even have a good region. So anyway, we'll keep going to 100. And then we'll see what happens. Do we want to move this way? No, nope, that makes it worse. We want to move this way. And you can see that E is lying on a grid point, 6, 2. And A is OK, but D does not look good. So this is a reasonable problem, but not a good problem. So let's move FP again. We can move up to that grid point there. And now we have good grid points for all the points, but most importantly for E, and then A, and then D. OK, here we had just changed the totals. What would happen if we changed all the parameters in the problem? There's six parameters. OK, here we've put in all six parameters as sliders. Again, we will show how to do this in the second MathCast. But six parameters is a lot of parameters to be moving around. One of the, the key things is that this number should be divisible by both of these numbers. So let's leave this at 10, and then let's say we make this 25. Well, 140 is not divisible by 25. So well, let's say we make this 150. And now we see that A and B are at least lying on grid points. See a grid point here, a grid point here. So we'll start to move these around. Let's make this one say 1. Of course, I, I do know a good answer before I started this math cast. And now let's move this to a whole number, 7, let's say then this cannot be an 8 for sure. It might be able to be a 7.7. .7. And we see we're not getting a good point for E. So let's move it to 0.6 is not divisible. How about 0 0.5? 0 0.5 gives me all grid points. Like I said, I knew this answer ahead of time. You have to try moving them around and see what you get. This is, a, again, this is a good problem for students to try. They get to find grid points for A, E, and D and see how difficult it is to actually make up a good problem and what a good problem looks like.